Yeehaw! Let's remove this and install an oil separator. Should be fun and easy. I purchased a J&L oil separator for my 2003 Mach 1 Mustang and I'm going to be installing it today. Let's check it out. This is it, the Janelle oil separator for the passenger side. It's a really nice little unit. Got mine on Summit, even had a $5 coupon. This thing should have taken max like 15 minutes to install. All you actually need for this is a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench. And you're just going to um, remove this 10 millimeter nut that bolts the uh, AC line to the engine. And once you got that off, you're just going to, well, you gotta clean it, obviously. I mean, I'm doing the best I can here. It's like a 20, 21 year old engine bay. So with that um, nut removed, then you can just go ahead and clamp on the bracket with that same nut. Get it nice and tight. Then fairly simple, just remove this old grommet and I found out that mine was torn to bits and barely hanging on. Which means I couldn't reuse it. Which means a trip to O'Reilly was in my near future. You can just um, screw this separate onto the bracket. Easy as pie. Best part of the job happened right here. I started to do the job and I realized that my little gasket thing, this guy, is broken. So I'm on the way to O'Reilly for a new one. Alright, I got the goodies here. I got two. I got this, uh, your valve cover grommet and then I got an extra one because I like wasting money. And I got this too. Kind of looks like it will work, but who knows, so whatever. Add it to the collection of extra parts. And it's precisely at this moment where the job just takes a total shit on my life. Here we go. Whoop. So, randomly, the grommet that I got does not... Well, it did fit. It did fit. I had to squeeze it in, but it did fit. When I got the grommet in, which, by the way, the grommet was the same... The new grommet was the same size as the old grommet. I must have measured, like... 57 times. I even took the old grommet with me to O'Reilly to make sure that I was getting the right grommet. So the grommet fits, like it's the right grommet. But the new um, little L-shaped valve thing won't go in. And I'm comparing the two. And the old one versus the new one, this is the old one that you're seeing right there. The old one fits perfectly. The new one is satanic. The only difference between the old one and the new one is obviously these ridges, which they're like m maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm beating this thing down like Woody Woodpecker, trying to get it in there. Yes, I put a lot of oil on it, just was bouncing right back out over and over again. You know, I'm, I'm on the verge of just putting a brick on the gas pedal and, and laying myself under the tire. Finally, I realized that I'm gonna have to um, grind these ridges off. So I'm gonna take a Dremel to it and smooth these suckers down. Okay, ridges are shaved down. We'll call it the stage one shave down. Stage one shave down. I'll let you guess that there's a stage two shave down coming up real soon. Again, I'm just hammering this sucker in. This is stage two shave down. You can see I got all those bitching rivet ridges, mother effers down. And lo and behold, it won't go 
in. Grommet is the, is the same size. This little little valve is the same size as the old one. Everything is the same size and it just won't work. Finally, I had to enlist in the help of my neighbor Dan. Dan came around, Lieutenant Dan, and he said, how's it going? And I said, Lieutenant Dan, not so well. Can you please get your glasses and see if you can ram this sucker down here? And lo and behold, Dan came through. Thank you, Lieutenant Dan. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Thank you. So with about, I don't know, an hour and 12 minutes past, all there was left to do was um, connect the fittings uh, to the hoses. And look, voila, it's beautiful. One thing did happen is is I, I knocked an entire quart of oil into me. So these pants went into the trash can. Thanks for watching. I had fun. Hope you did too. Bye.